We have a dry line here, pushing its way through central, north central Texas. Um, still west of the metro area. <laughs> you can see a really faint fair weather cumulus line right here, debarcating the dry line. But out ahead, strata Q is slowly burning off. Keyword is slowly, but at least it's better than nothing. At this point, we do have clearing ahead of the dry line behind the clouds. Yes. So we're hoping that we'll actually be heating there. Well, we have heated up 10 degrees in the last 10 or so minutes driving, which is good too. In fact, the temperatures in front of the dry line have up increased to 78 right now. That's very good. Uh, metro area is still in the mid 60s, but that'll, that'll recover quickly once the okay. clouds leave. We are in Denton, watching blips and potential blips on the radar here. We do have a little bit of action as far as uh, convection possibly being started on along the dry line, maybe just some fair weather queue. We do have one little blip down here to the southwest that we're keeping an eye on, as well as a blip up here to the northwest. I don't know if any of that's going to develop into anything, but that's the best we got to go with right now. You can see the dry line dancing right here. Um, this beta says radar signature. You can see it here as well, a little bulges and dances it's doing, which is very interesting. Bulges and dances. Yep, that's what I would call it the best, no, that's the best description I can come up with. So. We'll keep watching it. The blip on radar, it's actually more than a blip now. We're actually about 45 DBZs in the middle of that baby. Um, we are right here. Yep. There's a storm. Look at this dry line bulge. Yeah, we have a nice dry line bulge so, there. Really good example of Which one. Definitely has triggered that. That's undoubtedly what triggered that. Um, if that dry line keeps kind of dancing like that, we might see a few more cells get kicked off or even some outflow from this cell. Might kick some more stuff off. Pretty much all we need is some forcing today. Our, see what's going on. our cell here is weakening the um, Upper level tilts in the radar are showing decreasing reflectivities. Yep. But we have this dry line bulge right here and yep. we have several other blips. We also have uh, information from the, the recent ruck run from the, through SPC that lapse rates are looking good um, as far as moderate cape around 1,000 joules per kilogram and uh, connect, the convective inhibition being lowered in that region. So we might see uh, some possible supercell development if we get it to initiate. So we lost our data for a little bit. Our original cell died. We have another cell right here that looks like it may have already split. And looks pretty nice, slowing down. We're hoping in right turns so we get uh, better roads in our favor. But we're diving south now as fast as possible, then we're gonna try to hit west. Yeah. Well, this is our storm of choice. This is thunderstorm warned. Um, it's definitely dropped its tail car core and done a split, but not much rotation, definitely, unfortunately. Yeah, these storms are merging. Uh, definitely some inflow, possibly merging with another storm here, it looks like. Um, on radar, which is not really good for the organization of the storm. It might end up being good later, but not good for now. <laughs> That's what she looks like for right now. Nothing interesting. Yeah. I'm diving. I'm diving. Do we just. We are still not getting precip right now, even though we are right in between two hail cores. Just missed quarter size hail. Had one hit the windshield. We had one lone one hit the windshield. So we're gonna be going southeast on 82 now. Alright. Yeah. So we just got a latest update and severe thunderstorm warning. They have continued it for this entire two merging cells. Uh, possible baseball size hail. We are getting out of there as quickly as possible. Hoping to get back up to the northeast here. Move northeast and get ahead of the storm. What do you think, Owen? Yeah, we're gonna go to St. Joe, uh, maybe towards Munster, depending on how this cell merger evolves. At this point, this road takes us east-southeast, which is very convenient. It'll take us out ahead of the storm. With the current storm motions, should be very easy to do. So we got nice developing updraft base here. Storms have merged together and starting to look a little more organized. Strong inflow into the storm. You can see in these clouds over here. Yeah, probably gonna get healed on right here pretty soon. That's well, coming out of the northeast. I think we'll probably. We'll probably blind. Yeah. Can lower the storm's definitely starting to look better after it begins to organize itself here. What's the new radar scan show? Yeah, I can see it out here. Take a look at the clouds over to the right. Yep, 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 yep.
<laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I got you. No, that definitely had impressive lowering that could have been associated with some rotation. It was hard to say from back there. We have this cell merger happening now. Uh, it's progressing further. We just stopped to take a look at the old updraft. So, some lowering in the old updraft, but we think it's going to get choked off here. So, uh, but we got some more fellow chasers up here. As you notice, it was precipitating in the inflow, so that's going to get choked off. And we are now looking for this area down here for a new updraft to develop. Yeah. Which it. we kind of have a visual already out the window here. Huh? What? Yeah, our velocity couplets are getting better here. Slightly. Especially better. coming around this side here. Um, but we still got this problem of the cell not cleanly being ingested and not sure where the circulation is going to happen or anything, if this is going to be cleanly brought in. It's hard to know what's going to happen here. We got a nice shaft of rain coming in here. Perfect, it's right turning. Okay, storm spotters have reported a tornado on this storm. We have nice mesocirculation structure up to a developing tornado. Um, Dalvin Radar is also agreeing with this situation. All right, the hook is just to our west right now. Uh, actually, Route 82 takes us right into this rotation. No, 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 just keep going this. This will actually take us right there. As you can see, we've got a... Uh, meso circulation. The meso, right there. The couplet is becoming more and more intense right on this road. Yeah. The center this axis of it is right on this road. semis up here. This is the storm right here. We're gonna walk out off to the right. Developing tornado in this storm. We're going over here. I was watching that earlier. It's very broad. We can drop a tornado anywhere here. We're right in the coupler right now. Okay. We are right in it. That might be her right there. We can probably take this opportunity to pull the other side of the road because we need to head that way. That way we can keep it up. 